Hey Fit Fam, and welcome back to my series on fit tips for a healthier 2018. I know a lot of us are working on New Year's resolutions to get fit, get healthy, lose weight, gain some muscle, all kinds of fitness related resolutions. So this series is here to help you with some just quick, simple tips that you can apply today to make getting fit a lot easier. So today's fit tip number 18 is work out at home during commercial breaks. I know a lot of us are short on time, maybe don't even have gym memberships, but somehow we find time to watch TV and watch movies, and it's understandable. We just need to rest sometimes, especially come a Friday night or a weekend or the end of a long day. You don't necessarily want to come home and do a super hard workout or run to the gym. Sometimes you just want to be at home. Um, or you just need to find little pockets of time where you can fit in a little bit of a workout when you don't have an hour to spend at the gym. So, simple little fitness hack is to take those little commercial breaks. When you're watching a TV show to kind of decompress and rest, take those little times and use those to get in a little bit of a workout. And that can make a big difference in your overall fitness. Most commercial breaks are probably, I don't know, maybe three minutes long. And in that time, you can get a pretty good amount of work done. So, I suggest keeping some products at home that you can use, and really you don't even need any products. If you want, you can just do body weight workouts, push-ups, squats, sit-ups, planks. See if you can hold a plank for a minute, do squats for a minute, and then do as many push-ups as you can in a minute. Right there, you're already burning a few calories, building some strength. For me personally though, I'm always wanting to build muscle and burn more calories, and one of the best ways to do that is to have some weights around the house. This is great also too, not just for commercial breaks, but just in general, say you only have 30 minutes to work out in the morning before you have to go somewhere, rather than spend 15 of that putting on your clothes, getting out the door, heading to the gym or outside to run, you can just stay in your apartment, in your house, wherever you are, and get in a quick little workout, even in your PJs. So some of the things that I keep at home that I like to use for some good, effective, quick workouts are a medicine ball. So this is one of my favorites. This is a 12 pounder. So this is really good for um, things like a squat to a press. You squat down and then you press the ball up overhead. They're also good for things like Russian twists. You're taking the ball from side to side. It's a little bit of a core workout. So that's one of my favorites. I also keep around a few different sizes of kettlebells. This one in particular is a little bit heavy, is a 30 pounder. So these are great for kettlebell swings, squats, get ups, shoulder raises, like a, a upright row. If you have a lighter one, you can do a shoulder press. There's a ton you can do with these things, snatches, all kinds of exercises. And I will have an upcoming video on some kettlebell exercises, a kettlebell workout that you can do as one of these fit tips. So keep an eye out for that. I also have things like an ab wheel, push-up bars, an ab mat, multiple ways to work out your abs here, um, and resistance bands are definitely one of my favorite to have at home. I like these ones because you can stack them together and add on extra weight. This one also comes with a door anchor. So you just slip it inside of a door and then it's anchored in to do basically a full body workout. You can hit your glutes on that, you can hit your chest, your back. I just posted a video so go back and look at an at home resistance band full body workout and that's what I used. So though I'm pretty dependent on those if I want to do an at home workout, it's also going to build some muscle. So those are some great tools to have at home. You can just take a one, two, three minute break during commercials or a little bit after dinner, even if you're not watching TV. If you can just find little pockets of time here and there to do a little bit of a workout. You can also do things like burpees, squat jumps, uh, mountain climbers, anything that's gonna get your heart up. That's kind of a cardio option. Sometimes it's hard to get in cardio at home, I know, because you don't have a machine necessarily to use. But there are so many body weight plyometric type exercises, even just jumping jacks. Simple, basic jumping jacks, things you learned back in middle school. If you have room, a jump rope is great to have on hand for that. So you can jump rope for two or three minutes in a commercial break. 
If you did that just during a one hour show, you could probably get in about a 15 minute workout and at least you're doing something that's gonna help you to burn some calories and build some muscle this year. So keep that in mind, work out when you have quick little commercial breaks or just any little five minute pocket you can find throughout the day. Keep some tools at home to help you build muscle and challenge your entire body. And you can check my other videos and future upcoming videos for how to use some of these tools. But again, if you have nothing, just do some body weight exercises, fit and exercise wherever you can find the time. Hope that's helpful to you. If you have ideas and things that you like to do at home for your workouts, please leave them in the comments below so that others can get some good ideas on how to stay fit this year. I will also be posting a blog on my website at renewalfitcoach.com and I will put a list of exercises in there, some great ideas for things that you can do at home uh, if you're a little stuck for ideas or not sure what to do. So be sure to go there and check that out as well. You can also see my personal training programs, nutrition coaching options, if you would like some more customized help this year in reaching your fitness goals. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.